We are Team 24, the Pronghorns, and this is Somerset Elementary School. My name is Preeti Jain. I'm Kimmy Tai. I'm Claire Bo Road. And I'm Parker McCabe. Located in the heart of Grass Valley, California, Somerset Elementary School strives to build a safe, friendly, and diverse environment where students engage in fun, creative, and innovative learning while connecting with their community and the outdoors. Grass Valley has a population of 12,891 as of 2019, with a larger homeless population and one of the highest crime rates in the U.S. The average household income here is $37,548. Here is the layout of our school campus, which is gated due to the high crime rates in Grass Valley. The rooms and areas on our campus include the great base classrooms, the parking lot, the cafeteria, the garden, the track and field, the science labs, the auditorium, and the music and art rooms. Many of our buildings have unique shapes and designs that allow students to learn in an innovative and creative space. There is a building dedicated entirely to the science labs to enhance our science-centered curriculum. The two-story fifth and sixth grade classrooms feature three collaborative work tables that each seat five students. There's also a reading area and flexible seating arrangements as well as a desk for the teacher. To get to the second floor, students can either take the stairs, which are covered in case it rains or snows, or the elevators. These are the kindergarten through fourth grade classrooms. These one-story buildings feature unique, partially outdoors classrooms. There are tables outside for working, which are covered in case of snow or rain. These classrooms consist primarily of green and brown colors to make the students feel closer to nature. The picture on the bottom right appears to be made of glass, however, it only appears that way so that the interior of the room is visible. With glass panels for sunlight, the cafeteria is located next to the track towards the edge of the campus. It serves all seven grades with food from a school meal catering business. Students can eat anywhere across the campus with lunch tables scattered across. There's some seating inside the cafeteria, but in case of rain, snow, or extreme weather, students can eat inside their classrooms if needed. There are four all-gender restrooms in each bathroom building each of which have reusable towels and a hand dryer instead of single-use paper towels. The art room allows students to paint, design, sketch, model, and create. This room has tables for work and a carpet area with an easel to allow for students or teachers to share art and view it. The music room has spaces for kids to both practice and play, well, with other spaces to learn about and listen to music. Both rooms have more natural flooring and carpet design, as well as windows to let plenty of natural light in. The science classrooms have projectors and other resources used for science class. They feature a similar design to the K through fourth grade classrooms, as well as being made from an opaque material similar to the one shown in the lower photo. The auditorium and amphitheater are spaces where learners can perform and congregate together. Before designing our school, we researched about the needs of the community and children and brainstormed ideas that could benefit them both. The physical environment was also an important factor in deciding what structures and designs we would incorporate. After all of our research, we decided that our school would mainly focus on a connection to nature and the environment. While designing, we focused a lot on biophilic and biophilic designs and primordial spaces to build a better learning environment. Our roofs are also heated, so if light snow does occur, that won't be a problem. Biophilic design is an approach to architecture that seeks to connect building occupants more closely to nature. Natural elements create a more productive and healthy built environment for people. Countless studies reveal that direct exposure to natural elements has positive effects on a child's ability to learn and grow. On campus, we designed a lot of windows in the classrooms for natural lighting and to see nature outside. Different types of physical spaces that support individual, small group, and large group interactions are primordial spaces. In the classrooms, we added book nooks, cave-like spaces, and campfire group spaces in our design so that learners have a choice on where to learn and study. We understand that younger students have a hard time learning for large chunks of time, so we combine the multiple aspects of brain-based learning with the longer classes that are often associated with PBLs to create our schedule. Students at Somerset Elementary School start their day at 8.35 in the morning and end at 2.15 for kindergartners through third graders, or 3 o'clock for fourth through sixth graders. There are several passing periods during the day for students to socialize and make their way to their next class. For students who are unable to go home at the end of their classes, teachers will remain on campus until around 4.30. The school buses leave at 2.30, 3.30, 4, or 4.30, but for safety reasons, kids will let a teacher know once they're le leaving campus. Supervision is present throughout the day. Across the school, there's a total of 420 students. The teacher-to-student ratio was 1 to 15, and there are 60 students per grade. 
Our small class sizes help build stronger student and staff relationships and more individualized attention. All the nine classes shown above are incorporated into a student's weekly schedule at Somerset, giving them a variety of classes each day. We offer four languages, Mandarin, French, Spanish, and ASL. One main aspect of Somerset is community, and our school constantly works to help those in need and share our resources with others. Three examples of this are sharing energy, giving food, and partnering with local businesses. The main source of energy for our school is solar, which is saved and used responsibly. When we have extra energy that we don't need at the end of the day, we can then give the energy to other schools or businesses that may need it. Our Grass Valley Meal Program, GVMP, provides breakfast, lunch, and dinner to students and their families. One way our school works with local businesses is by partnering with the Grass Valley Public Library to loan books that we can then provide to the students. These books may change depending on what the students are learning at, at the time. Students are taught to care for and help the environment in many ways. For example, correctly sorting trash, compost, and recycling, planting trees and other plants, using solar power for our main source of energy, having grade-wide trash pickups on campus, and being conscious and responsible for the amount of resources used. We will take a variety of field trips in different grades at Somerset. Two examples of these field trips are trips to Empire Mine State Historic Park and South Yuba River State Park. At Empire Mine Park, students will learn about the history of where they live while connecting with the outdoors and greenery. South Yuba River Park gives students time to research nature and an environment near them. Field trips are structured so that students can connect what they learn on trips to their classes. Field trips will also strengthen the students' bonds to nature, their community, and their peers. Another main aspect of our school is the garden. Students grow, harvest, and wash fruits and vegetables that they can then eat for snack or give to the Grass Valley Meal Program. This helps students feel more in tune with nature and the world around them. The garden is also fit with different types of seating and quiet work areas to allow for students to work outside or socialize during breaks. We also use the garden as a teaching tool, incorporating it into science, art, and other classes. Examples of this could be creating 3D clay models of plants and art class or researching photosynthesis in science. Thank you so much for your time.